Welcome to part five of the Grumman 2 series. Uh, we're going to actually start doing some 3D uh, modeling right now. One thing I did forget is I forgot to make my line for my back hatch, so we'll go ahead and add that to the group. Double click on the group to open it. We'll zoom in here. And right here we will use the compass guide tool. Uh, what we do is come up here, hold there, come back, and then it'll show you midpoint. Go ahead and click there. And you can see it's a straight segment here, part of this arch. Click. And then drag around to the 90 degree mark and put the guide. That'll put the guide on perpendicular to the outside edge. And we'll come over uh, three quarters of an inch. And that's where I'm going to put the line for the hatch. Okay. We'll go ahead and erase these hash marks, zoom out, and then what we'll do is that's our group. Uh, one thing I'd like to do now is go ahead and move the group up out of the way, um, and then I will actually start making the 3D part down here. We're going to use this profile each time. One thing, I, The first thing I do is click on it. It'll open it up, go up, select all, then go back up, copy, and then get out of the group. Come down here, or hit edit, paste, and then you drag it down and put one below it. And what that does is it allows you to make, pull in your 3D shapes off of this without affecting your group, uh, your profile group. And you'll do that each time. Uh, so what we're going to do now is make this top. And I'll go ahead and set the door out to the side for later, and we'll go ahead and make the door. So what I end up doing is deleting everything I don't need. Um, it's quick, quicker to highlight and and uh, hit delete on stuff that you don't need uh, at first, and then you can go ahead and start deleting. And I'll zoom in here. Make sure you delete all the little things you don't want. The little lines. Okay, there you go. And then what we'll go ahead and do is move this the door out of the way, and then we'll come back to that later on. So you highlight it, select it, and then go ahead and move it over here out of the way. Okay, so now what we'll do is go ahead and start uh, with the outer shell here. We'll select that. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and paint it white. I like to use the color white uh, when I'm doing the shell because it, later on we can make the shell transparent as long as it's all one color. I color both sides um, simply because it uh, will help better when you're trying to make it transparent. And then I'll go ahead and make this a group. Okay, and then I'll go back on this back side, and I'll double click on it to open up the group. Let me go ahead and close that. Now this is where the fun begins. Uh, what, what we'll do is uh, we click on the push-pull tool right here, and then uh, hold, hover over the surface, and then you hit the control key, and you can go ahead and just click it and let off of it. And then what that will do is it will leave that surface there, and you drag the rest of it. Okay, this is going to be a 60 inch wide teardrop. So what we, I clicked on the mouse and I'm pulling it. We'll go 58 and a half inches. And there you go. Uh, there's the profile. We'll go ahead and zoom out a little bit on that. Now what we can do here is you see the lines, okay? Uh, we can smooth those out. Uh, these are the different sections. We'll go ahead and smooth those out. Uh, we're in the group. We'll select all. And so it highlights everything, and then you right click, and this soft and smooth ed edges, you click on that, and they go away. Go ahead and close this window out. You can still see where the segments are, but they're not there. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and close that, and that's my group. And we'll end this here, and we'll start out with the next one. 